Welcome, still wake up Nigeria, and of course, time for the dailies. Let's let you know what you can find if you decide to pick one up today. I'm not doing it alone. Of course, I have Mary, Bashwa, Alimi, all three of them in the house here with me. Seriously? Serious. <laughs> but it's good to be here. Let's take a look at the papers. All righty. So let's get started. This morning, we're going to be starting from the Daily Times. Not the most exciting headlines on the Daily Times, but it'll get more exciting as we go. Big one that hits you first. Nigerians living on keg of gunpowder or passenger knocks to Nubu's economic policies. Many will ask... How else? Who would have done any different? What would have happened if it was the other way around and the other parties won? Plenty to read from when you grab the Daily Times this morning. Also, uh, under the photo story, a... Uh, um, appeal? Appeal courts, yes, thank you very much. Um, okay, sack of all company directors. Wahala. Many will say it's about time, but what will be the fallout of that one? Unknown gunmen unleash terror at Kagara emirates and at the top of the daily fcta demolished more buildings in abuja this has been something that has been talked about for the past two months the demolitions are still continuing however the reasons seem to be rather concrete but um what about the measures taken to help alleviate the people who are in quote victims mm. uh, grab a copy of that paper and see what you uh, you might know that's what they that say one. about due diligence if you're going to buy a plot of land for five million naira mm. I know it's tough mm. because we don't have this lawyer mentality in Nigeria, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually pay a lawyer, mm -hmm. even if it's one percent of that. That's about fifty to one hundred thousand mm. to get the due diligence done. Is this land supposed to be sold? Well, many of the complaints from the victims, in quote once again, is that they had that in place due diligence. They were these lands were bought from very accredited sources, even sometimes the government. And here, there's a roundabout one eighty turn and then their houses have been demolished with no provision. Yeah, you know, in, in those kind of cases, who are, represent the government? Mm. Could be greedy people who are working in, you know, in government offices. So at the end of the day, you're right. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's just an unfortunate Very occurrence. unfortunate. Very. You have the Punch newspaper. Yes, I do have the Punch newspaper. And it's uh, talking about subsidy pain. That's the big one. Mm -hmm. Labor talks tough. Asu protesters condemn relief plans. Uh, now, Sanu Asu say full subsidy unintelligently removed. NLC meets today. TUC rejects 5% telecom tax, planned tuition hike. Kwara Ogu rule out, uh, roll out palliatives. A lot happening. Okay. Palliatives. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, uh, down here, we see supervisors, uh, invigilators selling wire questions online, arrested on trial. That's mm -hmm. coming from the wire boss. Pregnant women, women, children among Ondo Tanka fire victims. Oh, that was That's bad. coming from uh, an eyewitness. Now, three Oshun students hospitalized as gunmen open fire on barber shop. Uh, here we also have uh, Navy won't stop burning vessels, ferrying uh, stolen crude. Now, that one has been something people have been talking about for a while now. Why will you burn it? Mm. But then when you think about the fact that these things are illegal, uh -huh. You try as much as possible to put measures in place, but if you if, if you if you put the measures in place and they are not respected, it's probably time to go hard. I remember three weeks ago it was I and Mike who were having the dailies, who were doing the dailies, and I, I asked the same question about why do we have to, why did we have to destroy it? Yeah. What are the consequences or the repercussions from destroying the tank? Whether it's economically or guess what, environmentally. You can't just burn fuel. Yeah. These are arguments, not mine. These are arguments that people have carried and bandied about since. And there are also certain questions regarding the authenticity of that vessel itself. Being burned, is there still fuel in it? Exactly. Or is someone making money? Exactly. That was that was. We're a, not a, questioning a, characters yeah. here, but we're just saying one last thing that caught my eye: forex crisis. Mm -hmm. Passengers grown as foreign uh, airlines hike fares. That began uh, last week in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Of in course. Nigeria, because. Yeah. Um, there are proven reports of you being able to get same uh, same uh, transits yeah. outside the country far cheaper. Yeah. Crazy instances here. Let's move on now to the Guardian newspaper. Big headline, Made in Nigeria, smartphones fumble as monthly importation hits 50 billion naira. Yes, importation everybody, of parts. Yes, everybody must use a phone these days. Uh, there is a chart here showing um, the breakdown of critical metals in a smartphone and details of uh, what, well, these specific metals. And if you read the article, you'd find the sources. And some of these sources are very interesting, quite frankly, if you get down to the bottom end of it all. Um, at 
the bottom of that chart, you find this on Mass Burial. Amnesty International tackles Lagos government on identity of NSARS victims. Mm. This was bound to happen, as many people argued, since after it came out that 100, uh, uh, I think, monies were given for mass burial of 103 okay. victims. Who these victims were, where these happened. Um, the government has come out to clarify mm -hmm. that just about two of them were around the Lekito Gate mm -hmm. area. In fact, and those two were not even related. One suffered from blunt force trauma because um, the speaker, I believe, fell on mm -hmm. his head, while the other also had some kind of um, accident. Mm. So the government is insisting nobody died around the Lekito Gates. But then all these people were people from different areas, mm -hmm. some in Agege, you know, during With all the protest, different yes. little protests but going on. The government insists that there was none directly involved with that particular protest at the Lekki Tolkien. Well, grab a copy, you might find more information in there. Um, there's more on the, the front page for The Guardian. Akpabio eyes constitutional role for traditional rulers as Abbas commits to restructuring and tribunal nullifies LP candidates' election, declares PDP's Illumelu winner. And finally, for The Guardian, petrol subsidy making politics work for the people. Did you have something generally spoken about the... Um, 8,000 Naira palaces. Yeah, so last Wednesday, mm -hmm. there, there were reports that the government had said, you know what, let's, let's um, pause on this possibility mm -hmm. of 8,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. We're going to find a way to put this uh, palliative out to people mm -hmm. instead of the cash way. Mm -hmm. But people are still talking about the 8,000 Naira palliative. So it does seem like there's a disconnect. Many people are not aware of this development. Yeah. And then to touch back on the, the phone issue, mm. I, I just wanted to mention the fact that lithium yes. was recently discovered in Nasarawa. Oh, yes. So that's, um, that might be a form of aid to uh, phone... That is akin to, to child labor in China, is the thing, because the people who actually labor to extract or mine these, <laughs> they're not the better for it. Yeah. They're health... Uh, implications, yeah. economic implications, yeah. so many things, yeah. and at the end, they're none the richer yeah. because it seems exploitative. So what's going to come of this discovery is a question that we really need to look into. Unfortunately, we can't take more than we have already. Thank okay. you very much, Mary. Very absolutely great insight. Yeah. Uh, did you just call me Mike? I did... said absolutely my pleasure. Oh, okay. I thought you said absolutely Mike. Don't, don't, don't. Absolutely <laughs> Mike in the kitchen. Mike is indeed in the kitchen. Mike, they're mistaking our name for each other now. What's going on here? <laughs>